Welcome back in this lecture we will dive into XG Boost. To begin we will focus on hyperparameter tuning for our XG Boost model. The model fit function aids in finding the optimal number of boosting rounds while preventing overfitting. Let's take a look at this code which demonstrates the process of hyperparameter tuning and model fitting using XG Boost. We define the model fit function which is used for hyperparameter tuning and finding the optimal number of boosting rounds while preventing overfitting. The function takes the XG boost model, the transformed feature data, the target variable, the number of cross validation faults, and the early stopping rounds as input parameters. Within the model fit function, we first retrieve the current hyperparameters of the XG boost model using add get XGB params. We then create a D-matrix object from the transformed feature data and the target variable. Next, we perform cross-validation using the XGB param hyperparameters, XG train data, and other specified parameters. We set the evaluation metric to OK. The numBoost round parameter is set to the current number of estimators. The CV function returns the cross-validation result, which contains information about the performance of the model at each boosting round. We extract the optimal number of boosting rounds using CVRESOL, shape and set the N estimator's hyperparameter of the XG boost model to this value. After defining the model fit function, we proceed with fitting the XG boost algorithm on the training data using the fit method. Next, we perform cross validation using the XGB param hyperparameters, XG train data, and other specified parameters. We set the evaluation metric to OK. The numBoost round parameter is set to the current number of estimators. The CV function returns the cross validation result, which contains information about the performance of the model at each boosting round. We extract the optimal number of boosting rounds using CVRESOL, shape and set the N estimators hyperparameter of the XG boost model to this value. After defining the model fit function, we proceed with fitting the XG boost algorithm on the training data using the fit method. In your case, it seems like trans X train DF and Y train might not have the same number of rows. You should check the shapes of these two variables to ensure they align, as the number of rows doesn't match between trans X train DF and Y train. You'll need to investigate why and correct it. This could involve checking your data splitting process to make sure no rows are being unintentionally dropped, or it could be a result of how the data will be processed. Once you've ensured that the number of rows in trans X train DF and Y train are the same, you should be able to fit your model without this error. Next, we define best model, an instance of XGB classifier with the hyperparameters that we found to be optimal after hyperparameter tuning. These hyperparameters include max depth, ETA, gamma, min child weight, error, and objective. Note that these values are specific to the example and should be adjusted based on your specific problem and data. The N estimator's parameter specifies the number of trees to fit. If it's not set, it could default to none, which would cause this error when trying to use it as the number of boosting rounds. You can fix this by setting a default value for N estimators when you define your XGB classifier. I've set N estimators to 100 as a default value. You should adjust this to a value that makes sense for your specific use case. After making this change, you should be able to fit your model without encountering the type error. Finally, we call model fit with best model, the transformed feature data, the target variable, and an early stopping round value of 16 to find the optimal number of boosting rounds for the final model. By following this process, we can train an XG boost model with optimized hyperparameters that balances model performance and overfitting. In the next lecture, we will discuss model evaluation techniques to assess the performance of our trained XG Boost model.